Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crystal and Light. My name is Charlotte. Thanks for being here, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Help my channel grow. And guys, I need a thousand subscribers. It's been a year now. I have to say, I haven't been that consistent. But still, I'm here now. So guys, please, 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 please subscribe and like and share. Also, if you want to go further with the support, I have a donate um, button, but people don't see it. It's on my banner, so I'll link everything below for those of you interested in, you know, donating my Twitter, my Instagram, and blah, blah, blah. So, Pisces, this is going to be your reading for October. Hi, Pisces, your readings have been amazing. September was amazing. Your energy reading, oh my God, you were like connected as AF. AF. Pisces, you guys are getting downloads. You're like... You're on some other level. You already are, but you're, you're just like even more, okay? Um, so Pisces, October, what's going on? What's going on? So Libra, okay, we're in Libra season. So happy birthday to any Librans in your uh, environment, whether it's a parent, a world co-worker, a friend, whatever. Happy birthday to them from me. And Libra season, what is Libra season? It's about relationships. So we've been doing a lot of self-work, you know. And uh, with this COVID-19 and everything that, I think people are really tired of being afraid and, you know, the distancing and stuff like that. People want relationships. People feel lonely. I felt lonely yesterday. It was really weird. For the first time, I said that. I was like, damn, I feel lonely. It's not that it was sad, but it was just like, I really feel lonely, you know. And I think people want to mingle now, you know, in person, not behind the screen anymore. Just be careful, though, you know, protect yourself. So there's going to be a lot of connections here, as well as a lot of divorces, unfortunately, and separations. But I feel like a lot of people are, like, um, stepping into what they want, uh, you know, their life to look like and who they want in it, you know. Who, who's not in the same, you know, vibration as they are. Maybe they don't want the same things, you know, because this, these times have changed a lot of people. A lot of people have done some inner work, like I said. Now it's time to see who matches your desires and who doesn't. Maybe some people you thought did don't anymore. It's time to address that because the Mercury is in Libra as well. So Mercury research, being alert and really analyzing stuff, you know, and I think it's squaring, um, Saturn. So Saturn is going to put it in your face. Okay. Also, um, Venus is in Leo. It's all about the passion. What really lights you up, you know? We can't be pretending anymore that a relationship or a job is just fulfilling us when it's not, you know? I think uh, Mercury is uh, sextiling Venus in Leo. So it brings opportunity, you know? This is the opportunity. Seize it. Because Jupiter is direct in Capricorn. A lot of people are changing their jobs, definitely. Um, people they date, trying something new. You know, not being so picky. Because they've changed. Maybe the people that you used, to, you used to date don't actually, you don't, you're not attracted to them anymore because you have changed. Okay? But anyway, your readings were amazing. So let's see what we have for October for you. This is the Muse Tarot. It is officially autumn, obviously. Libra is the kicker of the autumn equinox, and it is a cardinal sign. So definitely big, big changes for everyone. Okay. And then uh, Libra is your eighth house. Yeah, so transformation. Like I said, you some of you are really like transforming physically, and, and that, therefore, because you... you found you uh, you've grown you've upgraded spiritually and that that impacts your whole environment as well okay yeah first card Ooh, see muse <laughs> you definitely upgraded in this deck they have uh the king the queen da, 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 da. all of it and then they have muses muse is when you like leveled up you are a muse it's like you exude that energy you are a teacher you know you inspire people you're a muse what is it on top of it it's your 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 whoo it's muse of emotions cups you know your energy 
Muse of Emotion. I told you guys. Wow. <gasps> Amazing. I want to read it. Because the muses are very specific. You're the muse of emotions. Ooh, Pisces. You're on some other shit. You're on some other level. I know it, too. I feel like your energy is like so enticing. People feel it. They don't know why there's something about you. Muses emotions. Oh la la. Communicating truth, intuitive. No, this is the muse of voices. I said emotions. What happened? Here you go. Sorry guys. Hello. What's up? Did you wanna come out? There you go. Music emotions, compassion, joy, the free, the freedom to feel all the emotions as a way to self-discovery, transcendent states of bliss, meditation, inner calm, and knowing, being totally in touch with your desires and with balanced and peaceful emotions, avoiding moodiness, rinsing the shadow is the prompt. This is amazing. You're in your, wow. You are definitely aligned, Pisces. Ah. Oh. That's like alignment. That's a lot of cards. And it's the first, I got shivers. Muse of emotions. Kind of like the high priestess. Well, you are, right? This vibe here is giving me high priestess vibes and empress mixed together. Wow. Powerful. Beautiful, too. The starfish. Just one spirit. I mean, whatever. But don't give me stacks. The priestess. Yeah, you've and it's reversed. Didn't I just say priestess? Because you've leveled up. You already done this. It is you, right? It's like you've completed this and you've upgraded. And now you're a muse. Doesn't mean you lost this. This lesson is learned. You've upgraded. We don't fit we don't we don't we don't lose the, you know. We don't forget, like, our mathematics, you know, our, our counting. How do you say? When you count and stuff like that, once it's learned, it's learned, right? You're not going to forget it. But look at this card. This is when you were in training. And now, it's time for the party. <laughs> it's time for the party. I'm going to keep it up right. Because being reversed, it was just showing me that you've upgraded. From the priestess, now you're the muse. Because the priestess, the high priestess is very quiet, right? She is analyzing the energies. She's getting the downloads. She's not necessarily speaking. She's kind of like the hermit version, you know? But, you know, the hermit is more the dark night of the soul, kind of, you know? The high priestess is more like, uh, she's the high priestess, you know? She's an elevated being. The hermit too, but he's a, I don't know, this is almost like, it gives me like witchy, witch, witch, but not bad witch. How can I explain this? Sorceress, goddess, you know? And, and she's like, she's learning, she's being initiated. So she's quiet. But now the muse of emotions, look at this one here. All decked, decked up, drinking her thing. Leg out, the posture, like, you know, being noticed. Drinking from the shell. I'm super in touch with her emotions. Knows how to work with emotions. And emotions is intuition as well. A lot of intuition here. Said you were getting downloads. Look at the, the, those 
symbols on top of her head. She she's holding the moon, guys. Yo. She's actually taking the moon energy and she's like putting it in the left hand is your intuition hand, your receiving hand. She's actually like, I don't know, she's doing some magic over there. Pisces. You are magical. Oh, you're on some other level here. Some other level. I remember you reading, it was like superpowers. You're on some other level. I have shivers. Ooh, Pisces. I'll take it. I'm a Pisces rising. Other level shit. I think that's what I'm probably reading. Other level shit. Yeah, um, the two of wands and the emperor. And they're reversed. It's, look at this. These are good cards. All three of them. The Emperor. Okay. The High Priestess. And the Two of Wands. Amazing cards. But they're reversed. So I feel, you know, I really, really feel Pisces. This is it now. You, you've done that. It's like, it's almost like you, you're in 5D. Because this is like 3D stuff. Pisces, you have a, you're in 4D or 5D. I don't know what you, where you are, but you're there. You're not here anymore. You're not here anymore. Energetically. You're in another dimension. You're on some other level shit here. On a whole other level. I don't even know if you realize. You're on some other shit, Pisces. Oh, sorry for cursing. It's not a shit is not a curse. Come on. But go, Pisces. Woof. What are you doing? Look at that, the magician. Yeah. You've mastered this thing here. The work, the wands, I mean, the passion, whatever. You have earned those four elements. You're, you're the four elements, you know. You've, you've, you've graduated. You've done it. You can manifest whatever you want. You're on some other level, Pisces. Some other level here. That's crazy. Wow. Do I want to even clarify? Please, let's do. Let's just clarify. One card we're going to clarify. Just one. I don't even feel it, really. Look at this. Ace of Cups and the High Priestess. Twice the High Priestess. Ace of Cups, your energy. What? That's it. I don't, I'm not clarifying. No. That's it. Let me just put this over here. I'm done. I'm done with Pisces. You probably even know this, too. <laughs> if you're the muse of emotions, I, my, my, my guess is that you don't even need to do, maybe you're doing readings for yourself. You don't even need to do readings. All you have to do is stand still and connect. It comes to you. I have shivers, you guys. Pisces, wow. Why do I have a shirt here? What? The high priestess twice. What? Remember I was saying the high priestess, once you learn, you don't unlearn, right? That's why the high priestess came back up. But this time she was upright. Meaning you still got that. Like I said, it's not because it's reversed that you're no longer the high priestess or you're not seeing something. No, you see. You are seeing everything. Okay? You just got... You're still the high priestess, but you just got... Now you got a crown. You got a crown. With rubies. And diamonds. I don't know where that's coming from. Let's look at all this white, this purity. Purity. Beauty. <sighs> Clarity. Oh my God. It's amazing. Soul's journey. Service. I feel good when I can help others. Oh yeah, you're definitely <laughs> attracting a lot of people that need your advice. You're the high priestess. You're the muse of emotions. People are attracted to you. I said that before. Be, listen, protect your energy. 
but protect your energy. But, but right now, and it's always been like that. Pisces are very um, coveted. You know, Pisces are very seeked after because they're fun. They're just like lightheaded, you know, but sometimes people think they're fools, you know, but they're not. It's because there's too much. They feel too much. So they have to lighten up somehow. And they see people clearly, clearly, just like Scorpio does too. But sometimes, yeah, Pisces could be a little bit in that, oh, I want to disconnect from all this energy here. It's too much. And they can miss things. But right now here. You have um, accepted your power. I feel like you stopped running away from it. And now you are the muse of emotions. And you want to help people. You're ready to accept that power of yours to heal people. You know their problems even before they speak. And you say exactly what they need to hear. You know the exact advice to give. You're a magician. You are a magician. You are, what was the word? I didn't say witch. What was it again? You're a witch doctor. Yeah, you're a sorcerer. You're a sorceress. You're a witch doctor. You're, I'm seeing like ancient Greece, you know, goddess, like, even Atlantis and, you know, the goddesses, you know, the priestesses. Amazing. I'm oh, thinking about goddess. Goddess Guidance Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. And then we'll get a Wisdom Oracle. Goddess. Well, I'm scared of you, Pisces. You are talking to the Council of Light directly. No, you're not in 3D anymore. You're not. You're not in 3D anymore. You're not. <sighs> One card's good, not two. For Pisces. I'm looking at the birds. Can you hear them? Okay, spirit, one card. Just one more. That golden opportunity. Just one spirit, please. Mission. You're ready to step into mission. You've been prepping for this for your whole life. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Spirit. Oh my God. Sorceress. Brianna. Oh my God. Whew, shivers. I got shivers. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Sorceress. On some other level shit here. Guys. That's insane. Sorceress. can see him. I don't know. I'm speechless. <coughs> I'm speechless. Oh 
Andrea, I, I was not here for a minute. I was gone. I'm back. I don't know where the hell I went. For a moment, I wasn't here. I wasn't here. It's crazy. I claim this reading. Claim this reading, guys. Like it. Like. Hit the like button. Claim this reading. My God. So much goddess energy here. Muse of emotions. Ace of cups. Two high priestesses. And a sorceress. Which just shut me up. So what do I have for... Oh my God. Pisces October. I have two other signs. I don't even think I'm going to do it. I want to stay in this energy. I'm not going to do my two other signs. Sorry, guys. Who was it? Gemini and Virgo, they can't wait tomorrow. I can't. I want to stay in this energy. It's so powerful. Happy, happy. Oh, hell yeah. Because you know the truth. You know what's up. You know what's up there. That's where you are. Nothing phases you. Because you understand everything. The ugliest, the darkest thing, you know why, and you know how to fix it too. If you, 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 I mean, who is going to be sad anymore? You know what I mean? I'm scared of you. You're a sorceress. You are a sorceress. But a good one. The good witch. You know, and, um, it's almost like the fairy tales, you know? Look at this. Like, imagine what you, a, a good witch, witch, that witch you used to imagine, witch. It's a fae. It's not, a, a witch is like very, you know, scary, whatever, a connotation of that. But it's, it's a fairy. You're a fairy. You're, you're just the muse, a fairy. It's just, it's beauty. It's, 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 it's purity. It's, uh, oh my God, it's light. It's pure light. You have been baptized by the council of the light and you have ascended you're no longer in the 3d let me just tell you that and if you didn't know now you know you're no longer in the 3d pisces you're not you are protected oh hell yeah you are protected not by one by the council of light And you can tap into them when you need answers. Protect your light. If you understand this, your power, I am daring to say, Pisces, you will never be low vibration again. You will never be sad again you will never be depressed again never never it's over you have become the light your blood you're the light inside of you there's the light your aura it's light. It's white light. Pure white light. Christ consciousness. I can go on and on and on. Woo! Pisces, I claim this reading. Spirit, I claim this reading. Claim this reading. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and help my channel grow. And I will link everything you need to know below. Namaste, you beautiful creature. Namaste, I acknowledge your light, Pisces.